ice on a moonlit night. Bring forth thy power. Bring forth thy might. Bring forth thy power. Bring forth thy might. Ice and cold on a moonlit night. Bring forth thy power. Bring forth thy might. Mix and bind. Mix and bind. Life I gift. Life I pledge. Life I give. Life I pledge, life I gift, life I pledge. Life I gift, life I pledge, life I gift. Take this, freely given, to restore the power. Come, cold one. I command thee. This abomination you call science. What we cannot defeat, turn against you. And that will be your reward, human.
Well, well, that's it. That's it. I'm not getting up next spring if I can't find something else to wake me up. <sighs> Pesky rabbits. They're as bad as the squirrels. No help at all. How come it's always me that gets wet and never you? Well, I'll tell you for why. Because you're too damn smart for your own good, that's why. Pesky rabbits. <sighs> Well, it's about time you found your own place. Well, I don't know how you like living here. You've got your own barrels. <coughs> Where's all that dust coming from? You were supposed to keep the place clean. That's the deal. Food and lodging for a little housekeeper. Never let it be said old Finn McCool takes anything for nothing. Or gives anything for nothing either. Oh, I hate water. Water and little people don't mix. Never have and never will. gone. St. Patrick Preserve us. Where have all these people come from? All in the lovely trees. Just logs now. Nobody bothers to wake me up. They let me sleep. Half me forest gone. Nobody says a word. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, oh. those pesky rabbits. Unreliable. Always have been. You see, they don't live in trees, so they don't care. Well, I'll be getting to the bottom of this. Believe me, they'll rule the day they crossed Finrig and McGool. It's a blooming cold. Oh, 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 oh,
stop moving things. Right, come on now. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You've been there a thousand times before. Come on. 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 Come Morning, Mary. You finished early this morning. Oh, first of the month. You don't want to hang around the dairy too long today. Oh, no. You superstitious old goat. Do you think the little people have time to waste on you? <laughs> Show a little respect for the old ways. That's what I say. You know, if you don't mess with the little people, they won't mess with you. <laughs> really, Ned? Oh, cake, is it? Hmm? All ready for the young visitors, then? As I'll ever be. It'll be good to have kids about the place. Would you care to be my taster? Oh, I don't mind if I do. I baked it fresh this morning. Oh, chocolate, my favourite. Now, there's a surprise. Hey. Oh, this is good. Mm, delicious. You've outdone yourself this time, Mary. You know, I must be awful tough to be this barrage fella. Tough? Any barrage can do just about what he pleases in the world. How tough can that be? Well, pretty tough, I reckon. You know, being being a multi-millionaire has its fair share of problems and worries, too. I imagine. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having his worries if I had all his money. <coughs> well, since his wife died, he, he never spends any time in America. He has houses everywhere, but doesn't enjoy them. He's always flying around the world, attending to his businesses. How sad. He probably never sees his poor kids. Hopefully they can be together here. Mm -hmm. You know, money's not everything. There's other things just as important. Mr. Simpson, good morning. Miss Riley? Uh, morning, Mr. Simpson. Tea, Mr. Simpson? You've gone to a lot of trouble, Mary. I hope the Barry's children will appreciate it. I'm sure they will. I've never known a kid yet who can resist my jam tarts. We don't want to spoil them. Gooey. Well, if you don't spoil them, no one else around here is going to, that's for sure. Mr. Van's really excited about them coming. Why? That's what I want to know. She never was much for men. Now she's for Marion. Can't get around in those crazy clothes. You know, she's not the same as she was. Oh, Ned, you're such a stick in the mud. If you had your way, nothing would ever change. <laughs> there are sometimes change if not everything is made out to be Mary. Ned, I'm sure Mr. Van will make Mr. Barrage very happy. Hey, maybe you're right. He needs a wife and mother for his children. 
when they'll have a stable home life. You must have hired you still a young man. And a good catch to boot. Any road, time I was getting back to work. Some of us have to earn a living here. Right, thanks for the tea. Pleasure. Ned? Ned, you old rogue. I won't fall for that one. Look of this. I want to go home. We have to give it a try, Tommy. We promised Dad. But I don't want a new mother. We're going to have the whole holiday just to get to know each other. Isn't that marvelous? Yes. <laughs> Simpson, the bags. When I saw your father's photograph in Business Weekly, I knew we were destined for one another. Come along, come along, don't dawdle. I've got a lovely room already. Hello. Oh, yes, this is Mary, the cook. Hi, Mary. My name is Ethel, and this is my brother, Tommy. Don't the two of you look grand, to be sure? We have a lovely tea already. Oh, and lots of ideas for games and things. When you've had a chance to settle in. Oh, that would be wonderful, thank you. Yes, quite. Why don't you run back to the kitchen, Mary, dear? I'm sure you've got lots to do. Excuse us. Come on, Tommy. So weird. That hat. I wouldn't be seen dead in that hat. <gasps> Dad said this is a real mansion. But it's just a dome. 
just like her, all lumpy and grand. And a twig short of a full nest. Now, darling, don't be so cruel. Just like her. <laughs> Tea is being served. I hope that means food. I'm starving. Did you see his face? <laughs> Cut down my trees, won't you? I'll shock you. I'll show ya. They'll not mess with me. Start her up. Who did this? Someone's really been mocking about. What is going on here? <laughs> Someone sabotaged. Oh, what? Get these things moving! I'm sorry, Mum. I can't. Not the side of a week. A week? A week? Are you telling me? Won't be any trees cut down in a whole week. I'm sorry, man, but these tires are special, you know, big. We can't just go anywhere for them. Well, what about the spares? Oh, well, we have one spare per tractor in most cases, but, but all the tires are ruined. <laughs> I want you to find out who did it. I want you to find out and tell me. And get these vehicles fixed. <laughs> Come on! <gasps> wow. Oh. Ethel, look what I found. No, no, that's mine. That's not right. Sorry. Sorry. Idiots. What a beautiful forest, Mr. Vaughn. The trees must be very old. They are just trees, you silly girl. Dirty, bug-ridden monsters. Darling. You know what I mean. <laughs> Please, you must call me Laura. Hmm? Because in just a few months, your daddy and I are going to be married. Won't that be wonderful? <laughs> mm, and you, Tommy. We mustn't forget you, must we? <laughs> now, sit up straight, don't slouch. It's not good to slouch. You know, 
I don't like it here. I don't like Laura or this house or anything about it. And Dad can't marry her. I won't let him. Don't be silly, Tommy. It doesn't work like that, and you know it. Look, we've only been here for two days. She must be nice or Dad wouldn't want to marry her. Maybe Dad is sick or something. And she keeps pinching me. Oh. There's no need to throw a tantrum. I'm not throwing a tantrum. Oh, really? <laughs> what was that? I can't swim. He needs help. 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 I can't swim. He's coming. Tommy's coming. Hang on, I'm coming. Oh, no. I'm here. Give me your hand. Uh, Tommy! Come on, stop struggling. Don't build the arm. Go on, pull harder. Come on, grab one side. Careful. You don't tear me cold. You got to. You got to grab me. Oh, oh no. Tommy, are you all right? Well, he's fine. It's my own good self in need of some help. Damn fool kids. Sorry! Sorry? Would that be all you've got to say for yourself? Madam. Thank you, Simpson. Is your room nice and dark? Nobody must know you're here. That'll take care of them. Cousin tight. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. For almost killing me. Oh, don't start that again. What the devil were you doing on the ledge in the first place? Hello, children, but I couldn't eat one all at once. What? What did you say? Tommy. Well, all he ever does is complain. Hey, you stole me gold. I did not. I found it. You took it and it wasn't yours. You stole it. Oh, and... stop it, both of you. <sighs> this is getting us nowhere. Tommy, give him back his gold. No. How do we know it's his? Because I said it was. And we're supposed to believe you? I'll have you know that fearless Finn McCool has never told a lie in his whole life. Fearless? <laughs> fearless? Help, help, a gun swim. I'll show you fearless. Are you all right? I didn't steal it. Well, I suppose you saved me life. So I'm a little beholding. I don't think we want you to be beholden. Can't we just be friends? We never met a leprechaun before. But you're not supposed to meet a leprechaun, no, are you? But you keep getting me wet now, don't you? And I can't go invisible when I'm wet now, can I? How many of you are there? Me, wouldn't you know it? Feel as Finn McCool, last king of the leprechauns. At your service. King? <laughs> well, if I'm the last one, I'd be have to be in the king now, wouldn't you, little smarty pants? Aren't you lonely? Oh, no, 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 no. I've got lots of friends. So what happened to the others? They ran out of gold. So? Well, don't you know nothing, boy? 
It's the weight of the gold in his pockets that makes us the little people. So what happens when you haven't got any gold in your pockets? Well, we grow, obviously. How big? Well, big. I mean, how big? Well, giant size, so big that we pop. Pop! And then we're gone. Pop! Oh! That's oh. gross! Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh. Those children are up to something. Didn't you ever play, Simpson? Is that why you took refuge in magic? A lonely little boy seeking out power instead of friends. Don't mock me, Banshee. It was my power that brought you here. No, Simpson. You have no power. Power is an essence. It is what we are or are not. All you have is magic. Magic makes you more powerful. But you are not power. And you are? Yes, I am. Then why are we messing about with all these stupid marriage plans? Why this stupid business deal with Henry Barrage? Why don't you just go ahead and do exactly what you want to do? Hmm, because power has its limits, Simpson. The marriage is a diversion. I chose Henry Barrage because I need him. He will make me more powerful still. How? You'll see. The well of power under this house is awfully small, don't you think? <gasps> Only love nails. Shh. Come on, quick this way. Oh, she's gone back out the window. Don't be silly. You've already been out the window once today. What if someone sees us? They won't. They're all getting ready for dinner. Quick, this way! And preserve us. She's a witch? My stepmother's a witch. She's a water spirit. She's not a witch. Like, I care what kind of spirit she is. Any minute now, I'm going to wake up. We're awake. We have to warn Daddy. I think we'd better be getting out of here. I knew something was wrong. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Aren't we being a little rude, sneaking around my house? We were hungry. Hmm? Poor little dears. Come on! What's wrong? What's happening? I don't know. Well, are they sick? They could get hurt.
There. Here. What are we going to do? I don't know. Where's Finn? Oh. Listen. Right. They're coming. Did you see? This way. Here. You try over there. I'll try the barn. Come out, dears. There's good children. Before I get angry. And believe me, you won't like me when I'm angry. This is your last chance. <laughs> children and come to mommy Laura. Come on, come to me. She's going to get us! She's a witch, Dad! She's going to boil us alive and throw us to the pigs! 
Laura, what on earth is going on here? Henry, thank God you've arrived. Stay away! No, Daddy, she's a witch! Stop it! Keep away! I said stop it! She's a witch, Dad! She's going to boil us alive and throw us to the pigs! I said stop it! Enough! Henry, thank goodness you're here! I just oh, don't Daddy. know what to do! That is enough! Oh. Oh. I thought we were getting along so well. Oh, but they've just been behaving so beastly. They called me a witch. They attacked me. That's not true. Ethel? Well, it isn't. Go to your rooms. But... Both of you. I don't understand this. Let's see if I get cleaned up for dinner. Thank you. Don't be too hard on them, Henry, dear. I'm sure that once they get to know me, things will be fine. It's okay. <laughs> they're just, they're really just such lovely children. I could just eat them all up. Yeah. <laughs> Why won't anyone believe us? Stop it, Tommy. You're imagining things. Well, if he loved us, he'd believe us. Your father thinks the world of you. He doesn't show it. Sometimes, sometimes I think he wishes we died in the car instead of Mommy. Ethel. Ethel, don't say that. I know it doesn't look like it, but in his heart, your father truly loves you, believe me. It's just that he finds it hard to show his feelings, that's all. He can hug us sometimes, like he used to. That's not hard. Not hard at all. We can be together, like we were with Mom. Ready for dinner? I must say, you look a lot cleaner than you did earlier. They'll be done in a minute. I'd better get back to the kitchen. Sir. Henry, please call me Henry. Dad. Yes? You've got to believe us. Laura is a witch. Enough. I've had enough nonsense for one day. Now, Laura is a fine woman. Look, let's, let's just try to have a nice dinner, OK? Tommy, Ethel, please. What are we going to do? Laura? Down here, darling. Yeah. Laura? Yes, darling. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, fine. Brandy. Yes, I think I could use one. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, mm. Another headache. Yes, I'm afraid so. Let me. This is very good. Mm. Mm. How are the little dears? All cleaned up? Yes. What is it? It feels so much better when you do this. <laughs> Sorry about the kids. I don't know what's gotten into them. Oh, well, they'll be perfectly mm. all right once we're married. Mm. We'll send them to good schools. Mm. Find a nanny. Don't worry, darling. You look so lovely. It's the drink talking. Mm. Mm. No, not. I mean it. You look, you look beautiful. You say the nicest things, Henry. Mm. You know, it's probably all my fault if I was just to pay a little bit more attention to them. Oh, I... for goodness sake, can we forget about the children? Just for now, dear. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're so kind. Mm. 
You're so generous. And you're so, so lovely. Oh, let's not overdo it, Henry. Mwah. Children. <laughs> oh, there you are. Mm. Tommy and I would like to apologize for what happened today. May we please start again? Hi. Of course, dear. Well, I must say I'm proud of you. Yes, I am. <laughs> mm. I'm proud of the both of you. Well, come, come, let's let's sit down. Laura, you're mm. here. Well, this is just like one big happy family. I think this calls for a toast. Don't you? To us and to our futures. To the. What are you doing? Thomas! Thomas, you idiot! It was an accident, Mr. Van. Oh, I'm sure he didn't mean it. All right. Thank you. Henry, sit. Accidents happen. Shall we eat? Thank you, Simpson. Your father and I were discussing where we should live. We thought here would be perfect. But what about school? What about our friends? We'll find both of you new ones. Somewhere bracing and healthy for you, Tommy. <laughs> and uh, a girl's college for you, Ethel. Mm -hmm. Won't that be nice? Well, we want to be with Daddy. Well, that's not going to be possible, darling. There are no schools around here. We want to be with each other. Well, I don't know. All the best schools are single sex, you know. And we do want the best for your darlings, don't we? <laughs> and you'll uh, meet and make new friends, darling. Ah, it'll be an adventure. Shall we join you after I've changed? I hate vegetable soup. Fiddlesticks. <laughs> yeah! Just dessert for me, I think, Simpson. Thank you, Mary. Uh, why don't you serve Henry first, Simpson? He loves trifle. No, he doesn't. He hates trifle. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, I... No, I don't. I do. I don't. Uh, uh, that's, just don't like it very much, that's all. Ethel, you'll have some, won't you, darling? I do love trifle. Nevertheless, why don't you serve Tommy first, Simpson? Look out! Oh. Oh. Thomas, you idiot! <laughs> She hasn't seen nothing yet. Oh, yuck! Is 
will not win against fearless Finn Megan McCool. <laughs> Down that path. You see anything? Hey, you fellows look around no. the back of the There's no one here. The Maybe it was a fox. On, Maybe. Move, the photos will tell us for sure. Re-rig the wire. I check the cameras. Take a look along the fence. A leprechaun! Do you know what this means? Do you? Gold! It means gold! Leprechaun! Gold! Begging your pardon, Mama. And I know he's small and all, but that's no leprechaun. There's no such thing. Of course there's no such thing. It's a joke. A joke, a joke, a joke. Get it? Whoever he is, he lives in the woods. Find him. I want him. Yes, Mom. Use dogs! And hoses. Is something wrong? Oh, quite the contrary. Mm. Everything's just perfect. Mm. Shall we greet our guests? Of course. Hello. Sam. Hello, Hello, nice Henry. to see you. Pleasure. My fiance, Laura. Delighted. Sam, how are you? Shall we? What's yeah. going on? I don't know. Uh, nice. Let's go ask Mary. Uh -huh. How are you? Hello there. You, well, you know that well, we simply can't well. do it without you. Who are these people? Oh, Mr. Van and your father have a big meeting planned. What about? Lord knows. Come on, sit down. I'll get you some breakfast. Mary. Sir. All the guests are here. Good morning. Good morning. You can serve. You can serve the coffee whenever you're ready. Yes, sir. You know, you should be pleased that your father's found someone. He deserves to be happy too, doesn't he? No, you don't understand. Try me. She doesn't make him happy. How can she? She's a witch. We, we never get to see Dad anymore because he's always with Laura. Have you talked to him? We tried. And? Well, he doesn't listen. No, it's true. And it just got worse when Laura came in. Now he's being angry all the time and won't listen. He gets all bad headaches. And he gets mean. Well, maybe I'll try and persuade him to see a doctor, hmm? Thank you. OK. I'm not hungry, thank you. Nor I. <laughs> Please. Hello. I have no idea. Right here. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's an interesting plan, Henry. And if anyone can afford it, you can. Well, it's good for business, Sam. And if it's good for business, it's good for Ireland. I wonder what she wants with Dad. That's what I don't understand. I don't know. What does any band she want? Well, Dad has tons of money. It's got to be more than that. I wonder what they're doing downstairs. They're right below us. What? <gasps> I got an idea. Gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? I think we all know one another well enough, so I'll dispense Come on. with the formalities and proceed directly to the business at hand. I know that the environmental lobby is going to scream once they take a look at our proposal, but sometimes, gentlemen, you have to break a few eggs to make a cake or just starve. So let me assure you that Laura's proposal is for the benefit of everyone. 
Everyone, including the environment, Kim. There will be no expense spared looking out for the welfare of the animals, our precious natural resources, that being the lake and the forest, and also for the surrounding villages. I can't see. As you all know, Shh. the cost of this project well exceeds government funding. So, I will personally guarantee all expenses above and beyond the $20 million that has been allocated. In other words, gentlemen, Barrage Industries will fill the shortfall. Could we have that in writing? If you look at your brochure on page one, Kim, you'll see that I've already done so. And what about the land? The land? 75% of the land required for this project is owned by Laura and has been in her family for generations, which she so graciously has donated. Thank you. Gentlemen. <gasps> Laura's dream for Ireland's future. Oh, wonderful. Good day. I think it's wonderful. Impressive. It certainly is. I can't be serious. But let's listen to what We're guaranteed to supply power to half of Ireland within five years. Water power, gentlemen. Pure, clear water. We're going to build. Are you, are you okay? Sorry. Yeah, just enthusiastic. Of course. But you're flooding this whole valley. There's no way you can justify this environmentally, Mr. Barrage. Not even with all the weight you can throw behind it. Mr. Barrage has already justified it to all those who matter, Mr. Kim. Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm not happy. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, Kim, I don't care if a few deer get killed or a few hundred rabbits drown in their burrows or we lose a few precious acres of our endangered forest. If we're ever to build an industrial base in this country, we have to execute these plans as they are. We need Come on. Dam. Where are you going? Come on. Besides, it's part of Laura's dream. Mm -hmm. I can't believe he said that. It's her. She's making him. She must be. She's evil, Ethel. Finn said so. We've got to warn him. No way. Tommy? He ran out on us. No, he didn't. He was just invisible. Who else tipped the flower in the barn? Do you know how to find a banshee? Do you? No. Come on, then.
You're gonna boil that. I might. Yeah, I thought you might. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Ah, morning. Pots and pots of money doesn't buy love, I reckon. Well, I can't sit here admiring the scenery. Sorry, but you're going to have to try to use your imagination oh, on this I can do one. that. I understand exactly what's happening here. I won't have anything to do with it. She couldn't do this without you, Henry. But I have to say, I'm surprised. I don't know what sort of spell she's put you under, but um, I'm afraid I can't go along with it. Sorry. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to. <laughs> I hold your markers. <laughs> You've changed, Henry Barrage. And not for the better. Hmm. Hello, <laughs> Kitty Cat. <laughs> I think I hurt his feelings. <laughs> Don't worry about it, darling. He's uh, not important. I'm going to fix something for that headache of yours, and you can get some rest while I take care of business down at the logging camp. Oh, good. Those drinks seem to help. Sick that much power. She's doing it. And Dad's helping her, Finn. Dad's helping her. Of course he's helping again. Stronger men than your father have fallen under a banshee spell. Believe me. What should we do? <laughs> we'll have to hope he loves you enough. But he doesn't love us. He loves her. Quick! Down this way! Hurry! Let's get him! You've got to get out of here. Oh, no, no. What do you need? What is this? Over here. Must be inside. They're here! Get them. Come on, now! Oh, shoot! Up. It's too late. They're here. Oh, you have the back door. Wait, wait. Over here. Break it down. Okay. Hey, where is it? Come on! This way. Back door. This way. Quick, quick. Bend down here. Quick, quick. Down the hole. Me gold. I need me gold. It's too late. Go, get going. Get in there. Come on. Where is the little rat? 
Look under the bed. There's got to be a back door. Somebody go around the back. There's nothing under the bed. Just keep looking. Keep looking. Come on. Come and look. The golden goose has flown. What a shame. I think I found something. Leave it alone. Gold is mine. Too fat, too poor. She take on me gold. Now help me up. She's got your gold? Oh no. Oh no. So how long before you splat? No, I mean pop. I don't know. You don't know? Well, it's never happened to me before. I don't know. So how much gold do you have left? <laughs> Not much. Ben! Power! Power! Earth! Power! There's the gold in the dairy for the milk. I leave it, but I hide it. Maybe they haven't found it. You leave it, but you hide it? Hey, but you don't? Would you be after I go in the fine point of ethics? Are you going to help me, boy? I can see daylight. Oh. Oh. Quick! Oh. You go find Finn's gold from the dairy. We'll go find Dad. Go! So, uh, uh, Hurry, Finn, that way! Quick! Come on! Quick! 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 Go! I'm stuck. Hey! Help! I'm stuck. Go on, go on. Men. Tricky old copper. Looking for something. Well, if you won't listen to me, see a doctor about those headaches. I don't need your advice about my headaches. I am talking about your children. You're and breaking And I their certainly hearts. don't need your advice about my children. You're unbelievable. Whatever it is, they will get over it. Oh, will they now? Besides, who are you to give me advice? 
You are nothing. You are a nobody. You are nothing but common hired help. And you... <laughs> Sorry. Just leave me alone. Mary, I'm really sorry. I am sorry. Get down, get down. I don't know who I am anymore. I don't know what I'm saying. You need help. I didn't mean what I said, Mary. I love, I love my children. I love them so much that sometimes it hurts. I don't want to lose them. Well, tell them. Work it out between them and Mr. Van. They won't understand. They won't understand. Well, make them understand. Just, just tell them that you love them. Ethel. Ethel? <laughs> Ethel's not even a real name, you know. Emma is her given name. But her mom called her Ethel even before she was born. I never knew why. And after her mom passed away, well, just kind of stuck. Mary. Oh, Henry. Laura, we need to talk about the kids. The kids? Yeah. Not now, darling. Simply golden opportunity. No, now is a very good time. I see. I feel a conspiracy coming on. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Simpson! <laughs> Well, I can see what he sees in you, darling. I think. But uh, what on earth do you see in him? What do you mean? Well, it takes love to break a spell, dear. Silly me. I never dreamed you'd fall for him. I haven't. We haven't, and I... I love my children very much. And at the moment, they're very unhappy. And if this thing between us is to work out, they have to be happy. Yes, well, why don't I mix us all a little drink? I don't need a drink, Laura. I don't want a drink. What I want to do is to talk. You want? You want? I don't care what you want. I don't need you anymore, Henry, dear. I don't need any man anymore or your science. I should have trusted my children. You are a witch. Yes. But I have the gold. Leprechaun gold. Nothing any mortal can do can make the slightest bit of difference anymore. I am going to flood this valley! Not if I can help it. Watch me! Oh my gosh. No! 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 Spirit of the rivers and the ocean, the storm and the seas. I am find those wretched brats.
Not much, mind you. Just what me and me da and his da and, and the da before that could keep. Here. Ned. Now what'll we do with leprechaun gold? Here. Then I'll make it up to you, Ned. Oh, no. I'll have no leprechaun beholden to me. And I'll not be beholden to any leprechaun. Not on your life. Here, <laughs> crafty little devils. Mark my words. Gotcha! Again! Go! Go! Come on down! Then I'll come up to you. Give me the bag, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah! should be doing this. She melted my dad. stop you and you are not going to hurt my kids <laughs> oh, the arrogance of man a thousand years I have watched you destroy this world we all had a place once even those like me who like cold dark swampy places but you had to have it all you drained the swamps, cut down the forests, polluted the lakes and the rivers, and expect the world and everything in it to settle to your needs, as if only you matter. I will restore the balance. <gasps> Run! <laughs> grows already. The leprechaun can't hurt me. He has no power. <gasps> Not anymore. I'm so sorry. 
I didn't give you form to destroy the world. I want to rule it as it is. You do. I have gold now. <laughs> I have power to <laughs> add to my magic. <laughs> you will do exactly as I say. You're not strong enough. Don't do this. Be quiet. <laughs> you, Banshee, on your knees. On your knees! him alone. Oh, do shut up, Henry. Give me the gold. Dad! Tommy, I can't help you. You give it to the little man. Stop with these childish things. Give me the gold. Give her the gold. But you can destroy her. Money's is the power of life, son, not death. But we'll all die. You'll die. You did your best. Now give her the gold. Listen, Tommy. A gift to you, Banshee. I will make this world a fit place again. And the old ones will come back. No The old ones are dead, Banshee. We are alone. Doesn't matter what you do, you won't come back. Then I will take revenge!
Tommy! Finn! Tom Finn! I'm coming, Finn! Uh, I'm coming, Finn! Uh, uh, so, uh, I saw come back! Finn! Uh, Take it, Finn! Uh, Take it! Please don't die! Uh, oh, gosh! Uh, come on, Finn! Uh, Take it! Uh, Try! Man. You destroyed her. You said your power is life. It is. We are what nature makes us human. The gift is so much cool. It made her into something other than what she was. In the end, she destroyed herself. But you gave up your goal to save our lives. You gave it me back. Children, do you know that I love you? The both of you? I love you too, Daddy. <laughs> You saved our lives. How can we ever repay you? You can stop them flooding me, Valley. Done. <laughs> Is there anything else? You can forget I ever existed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it, Finn. You hate, hate being wet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It wasn't very funny being a giant. I almost popped. Imagine that. One gigantic splat. <laughs> no one will Never blame a house. We need to do it. <laughs>